Hello, grade 10 I learners. Our discussion for today is the role of hormones in the male and female reproductive system. Our objective for today is that you should be able to explain the role of hormones involved in the male and female reproductive systems. You should also be able to identify the glands involved in the endocrine system and the hormones each gland reproduces. Now let us review our previous lessons. Arrange the letters to form a word. This word means that this body system secretes hormones directly into the blood system and is responsible for various body functions. The answer is endocrine. Very good. I know it was easy for you. Next word is, it means that the body system prepares the body to form male and female characteristics. So what type of body system is this? Very good. The answer is reproductive system. Let us discuss the endocrine system. The endocrine system consists of a series of glands that produce and secrete chemicals called hormones to control various bodily functions. Do you know that hormones are made up of proteins? They control many bodily functions like respiratory, metabolism, reproduction, sensory perception, movement, sexual development, and growth. Glands produce hormones. They are directly secreted into the bloodstream to the various tissues in the body. They send signals to those tissues to tell them the, what they are supposed to do. When hormones are not produced in the right amount, diseases may happen. So let us discuss the different glands involved in the endocrine system. The hypothalamus is responsible for the regulation of body temperature, hunger, mood, and the release of hormones from other glands. It also controls thirst, sleep, and the sex drive. The pituitary gland is considered the master control gland. It controls other glands and makes the hormones that trigger growth. Oxytocin is involved in the contraction of the uterus. There's also growth hormone. Prolactin is responsible for milk production. Luteinizing hormone triggers the release of an egg during ovulation and it signals the production of testosterone in males. The follicle-stimulating hormone tells the ovaries to produce more mature eggs. Next is the pineal gland. The pineal gland produces melatonin which affects sleep. The thyroid and parathyroid gland. The thyroid produces hormones associated with calorie burning and heart rate. So this involves the metabolism. The parathyroid produces hormones that control the calcium levels of your body and it normalizes bone so the hormone involved here is a parathormone. Next is the thymus. The thymus gland is in the chest between the lungs. It makes white blood cells or the T lymphocytes, which are part of the immune system to help fight infection. They are produced before puberty. Next is the pancreas. This gland produces the insulin that helps control blood sugar levels. It is located behind the stomach. The adrenal gland produces the hormones that control sex drive and cortisol, which is the stress hormone. Are you familiar with the term adrenaline rush? This is when the body experiences a fight or flight situation when it senses danger. It may increase a person's strength, like a person can jump over a high fence or carry heavy objects like the refrigerator. 
Have you ever seen anyone do this? For your activity one, let us check your understanding about the endocrine system and you will be given 5 seconds to answer the question. Number 1. Which gland is responsible for the growth of a person? A. Pineal gland B. Thymus gland C. Pituitary gland D. Thyroid gland The correct answer is C. Pituitary Number 2 which gland has malfunctioned and caused goiter? A. Hypothalamus B. Testis C. Pituitary D. Thyroid The correct answer is D. Thyroid Number 3 which gland is responsible for the male puberty? A. Thyroid B. Hypothalamus C. Testis D. Pituitary The correct answer is D. Pituitary Number 4 which gland is responsible for fight and flight response? A. Pineal B. Adrenal glands C. Testis D. Ovaries And the correct answer is adrenal glands. Number 5 which gland is responsible for releasing eggs in females? A. Pineal gland B. Adrenal glands C. Testis D. Ovaries The correct answer is letter D. Ovaries Congratulations to those who got the perfect score of 5 Let's talk about the reproductive system and hormones Hormones are produced in the same areas as men and women, except in the reproductive areas. So let us review the male reproductive system. These are the parts of the male reproductive system. The vas deferens carries sperms from the testis to the urethra. The urethra carry sperm and urine outside of the body. The scrotum is a sack of skin that holds the testis. Okay, the penis deposits sperms into the vagina during mating. The testis carries sperms from the testis to the urethra. The seminal vesicle secretes a fluid that makes up most of the components of the semen. The prostate gland secretes a slightly alkaline antiacid milky fluid that is discharged as part of the semen. The bulbourethral gland or the calpus gland secretes a thick and clear mucus that lubricates and neutralizes any trace of acidic urine in the urethra. Other parts of the male reproductive system are the seminiferous tubules in the testis and the epididymis. This is where the sperm is stored. So what are the hormonal responses involved in the male reproductive system? The interstitial cells in the testis produce testosterone in response to the hormone luteinizing hormone. The hormone fo follicle, the hormone follicle stimulating hormone, promotes spermatogenesis. The male hormone testosterone is a steroid hormone, meaning that it is lipid soluble. Like all steroid hormones, it is derived from the steroid hormone cholesterol. 
Sperm is made inside the seminiferous tubules and sent from there to the epididymis for storage. For our activity 2, you can pause this video and answer numbers 1 to 8 within 10 minutes. You can put your pens down and check the answers of the activity. So how much did you get? If you got a score of 7 and 8, congratulations! If you have scored below 7, we can review the video again later. Now, let's talk about the female reproductive system. On the next clip, you will be shown the parts of the female reproductive system. It has the fallopian tubes or the oviduct, the uterus, endometrium, ovary, cervix, and the vagina. So what are the hormonal responses involved in the female reproductive system? The entrance to the uterus is called the cervix. The menstrual cycle lasts on average 28 days. Day 1 is the first day that menstruation starts and usually finishes by day 5. In the follicular phase, that means it's day 1 to 14, low levels of hormones are detected by the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus releases the gonadotropin releasing hormone. This is sent to the pituitary gland, which by then also releases the follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone. The follicle stimulating hormone causes several immature eggs along with their surrounding follicle cells in the ovaries to begin to develop. The developing follicle cells release increasing amounts of estrogen. So that is how hormonal responses occur in the female reproductive system. So what are the roles of hormones in the reproductive system? The pituitary gland is responsible for the functions of the testes in the ovaries. Thus, it is responsible for the purity stage of male and female. Hormones coming from the testis is responsible for the production of sperm and the release of semen. Hormones coming, coming from the ovaries is responsible for the growth and release of eggs from the ovaries while other hormones prepare the womb for the baby's growth. For your assessment, let us match the hormone in column B with the functions of the hormone in column A. Then match the secreting glands in column C with the hormone in column B. Write your answer on the lines. You can use column C more than once. So I'll give you 10 minutes to finish this activity. For part 2, we're going to fill in the blank with the correct answer. Choices are given on top of the questions. That's the end of our classes for today. I hope that you learned something. Thank you and have a great day.